Hello and welcome to Talking Whiskey. Today I'm going to go through what's the difference between a single cask and cask strength. Now I've got a couple of examples here to go through it with you. So the first example I'm going to give is going to be cask strength. So this is the Glendronic 8. Now this is a cask strength whiskey. Now effectively what this means is during the process where they blend all the barrels together to give the flavour profile that they want to release, they have done no proofing down coming out of the barrel. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about proofing, check out this video up here, and that goes through that for you a little bit more. So, back to the Glendronic. So, Glendronic has been blended from multiple barrels, and then they've bottled it straight from barrel strength, or cask strength. Now, this one actually comes in pretty high. It comes in at 61%, and it's pretty amazing. And as tempted as I am to get a glass and pour it and start drinking it, I'm not going to do that. So, don't worry. Not for this video, anyway. Now, for single cask, my example is going to be the Balconis Brimstone Redux. Now, single cask means that when it's been bottled, it has only come out from one cask. Now, you can do single cask releases and you can proof them down. So this is, in fact, a cask strength single cask release. Now, usually with car single cask releases, they will tend to give you a little bit of information on it. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you through this one. So this came from barrel number 4880. This is bottle number 68 of 170 bottles. And this also comes in at 64.9%. So this one does pack a hell of a bunch. And again, as tempted as I am to get a glass, I'm not going to for this video. So that's essentially the difference between the two of them. One of them means it's the strength coming out of the casks without absolutely no proofing. And the other one means it's come from one cask. Now I do have another example here. And this kind of doesn't quite fill both categories, but I want to get it out so I can show you it. Now this is the signatory release of Longmorn 16. Now this is a cast strength release, however this has been two casks that have been blended. So on the label they actually do give you the casks. So it's cask number 800646 and 800647. And this is bottle number 327 of 329, and this comes in at 55.3%. So this kind of touches both of these territories. It's not one single cast, but they have told you the casks that it's come from, and it has definitely come from cast strength. Let me know if there's any other things you guys want me to talk through in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and of course, cheers to you all.